Hi guys, it's Warren Nash and we are making an Italian classic. Here is how to make spaghetti carbonara. This is also really quick to prepare, which makes it the perfect family evening meal. Now, firstly, we need to take one onion. So take your onion, slice the ends off, slice in half, then peel, then finely chop. Also take two garlic cloves, again peel, then finely chop and set aside with the onion. Next, take a saucepan and place it over a medium heat on the stove. Then add a knob of butter and leave it to melt. We now need to add our chopped onion and chopped garlic to the pan, along with 75 grams of pancetta. Then fry these ingredients for about 5 minutes until the pancetta has just started to turn crisp. And also, meanwhile, we need to cook 175 grams of dried spaghetti in a saucepan of boiling water. However, don't cook it for the full cooking time as stated on the packet because we only want to cook it to al dente. So, when your spaghetti is finished cooking and you've finished frying off your onion, garlic and pancetta, remove the spaghetti from the heat, then drain the spaghetti, setting aside some of the starchy water for later. Then pour the spaghetti back into the saucepan with the onion, garlic and pancetta, then thoroughly mix these ingredients together. Briefly remove your spaghetti from the heat and now we'll prepare the sauce. So take three large chicken eggs and we need to separate the yolks from the whites. So carefully break into each egg and pass the yolk between each half of the shell, allowing the egg whites to pass into a bowl. Then, when you're left with three egg yolks on their own, pour these into a jug. Also add 50 grams of grated Parmesan cheese, then mix these two ingredients together. If you feel it's too thick, use some of that starchy water that we set aside earlier from the pasta, pour it in, then mix into the sauce to thin it out to make it easier to pour into the pasta. So, let's finish our carbonara off. Whilst it's still hot, take the saucepan of pasta, then pour back in that egg yolk and parmesan sauce. Mix everything together until the pasta's lovely and glossy and coated in that delicious sauce, then your carbonara's ready to serve. Simply garnish with some freshly ground pepper and perhaps some herbs of your choice. And there you have it, that's how quick and easy it is to make a delicious traditional Italian spaghetti carbonara.